Hello, welcome to this part of our tutorial. And uh, today we are going to look at how to model a steam injection um, well. Interesting, right? Okay, uh, so we'll just go straight to the to the business of the day. So I'm going to go, I'll go to options, options, and uh, we'll look at this. We have oil and water, we'll leave it at that. And then black oil, this, this, this. I'm going to change something, we'll change the well type from production to water injection not injector water injector okay that's what we have and then um uh let's look at this you're going to change this from rubber approximation to improved approximation uh, full system show calculation steam calculation will have to turn this on allow steam calculation okay um, that's all we have to do at this moment so once you've done that, you've set up your model. So we go here and then we enter water salinity, which is uh, one of the most important data which you need for your steam injection. Your the steam temperature, the water salinity, sorry, the water salinity, salinity is 10,000 ppm. Okay, so we'll go directly to this the equipment data. I'll select all. But before I continue, let's enter the injected fluid temperature. The temperature for our steam is um, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'll, I'm going to edit this. So we have a very simple model, a vertical well at um, 2,000 feet. Very, very shallow well. Okay, so we go down and then the next thing we'll select. We have, um, okay, this is for surface equipment, sorry. Surface equipment, the only thing I'll have to enter here is the air temperature, which is at 70 degrees. You're not modeling the surface equipment for this tutorial, so we'll leave this ones the way they are. So just enter the air temperature and proceed. And then we have our downhole equipment. So we have a tubing and a casing for this model. It's as simple as that. Of course, we're injecting just water. I'm steam. Tubing and a casing. I'll leave you the X mastery at zero. The tubing is at 1800, and then the casing is at 2000. The temp, I'm um, sorry, the inside diameter of the tubing is at 2.99992. Uh, the roughness is uh, where it is. And then for our casing, casing is at 8.3. 8.3. Okay, I think um, that's all we have for this. Okay, we go done. And then the other thing which you have is our formation temperature gradient. <coughs> temperature gradient. Okay, for this, the model, um, sorry, <laughs> measured depth is um, zero. The temperature at the surface is at 200. Um, excuse me. Yeah, the temperature at the surface is at 200. Uh, Sorry, 70. Did I say 200? Okay, 70. And then the overall it transfer coefficient is 8. The same thing for this. Um, here we have 2000 at depth of 2000. Temperature has risen to 130. And then the it transfer coefficient is also 8. Okay, that's all we have. Um, uh, in terms of measured depth, uh, okay, not a problem. Of course, you're modeling a vertical wall, so model the uh, um, measured depth or TVD all the same. Okay, so I'm gonna go down, and then that's all. So I'll go down, and then the next thing which I have to do is our PVT. So for this, we're gonna use the PI entry, uh, and then I'm gonna use PI entry. Just enter the information here. The reservoir um, pressure is at 1000. The temperature is at 130. Water cut is 100%, of course. This is a steam injection well. Your GOR is zero. And then your input, the PI for this model is 100 STP per day. So I'm gonna do, go calculate the same consideration for water and for injection wells the aof you're seeing here is not actually the maximum production but it's actually the highest rate at which the ipo pressure was computed 
the highest rate so okay so we go um let me just go main okay that's all the next thing which you'll want to do is um to conduct analysis to check um what production you'll be having after using this so we're gonna go system three variables and then my top note pressure uh, the top note pressure for this model is 100, 1,500. <coughs> Excuse me, please. 1,500 to Bex Brails, bottom linear. Our rate method. Let's change this from automatic to use a selected. All right. So we're going to use liquid rates and then this. So um, let me generate this instead of typing. So my first value will be from 100 to, um, um, what do we use, what do we use, what do we use, let's say 500, oh, let me use 10,000, 10,000, I think that's 1,000, 10,000, number should be 20, okay, so I'm going to use that. I'm sorry, geometric spacing. Uh, yeah, geometric spacing should be okay. Oh, whatever, linear spacing, whatever. So I'm going to use that. <coughs> That's all I have. So I go continue uh, my variables, calculate, and then calculate. Okay, so we're saying our liquid rate will increase by 4214.9. Stock on barrels per day. Um, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. So we're just gonna plot this, and this is all we have. The details of this calculation can be viewed if we go um to system pressure versus uh, versus depth plot. So all you have to do is to come here and continue and calculate. So we can view details like um, specific steam details like the quality of your steam, the density of the steam and um, the viscosity. All we have to do is to scroll to the right and you'll uh, while you watch, look at the heading for steam properties. Okay, so we have these are gas, gas. Okay, so these are the steam properties. So we have steam quality. Steam quality is reducing. Okay, we have steam density. We have viscosity, deformation volume factor, enthalpy, the specific is capacity, conductivity, and Others. Okay, that's all we have for the steam. So you can view these details to know uh, the properties of your steam. Okay, so that's what we have. Um, it's as simple as that. So that's that for the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you some other time, some other tutorial. Bye.